Hey guys, it is Anthony Istrico, and today we are here once again with our Gear Goblin behind the camera or in this camera. And today we are going to talk to you about our brand new Edelchrome, our brand new Edelchrome Surface, our brand new Edelchrome Surface Plus. Nope. Our brand new Edelchrome Surface One that we've paired up with our Flex Tilt Head Two. Try saying that five times fast. Yeah, I'm struggling with one time. We've had Edelkrone stuff for quite some time. The first thing we got was a Slider Plus, then we got the Slider Plus Pro, then we got some motion control units, pocket skater. We've always been really impressed with the value and the build quality of Edelkrone gear. So when this guy was on clearance a couple of weeks ago, we scooped it right up and this little flex tilt head too is a great accessory for it. Travels really well, it's solid, it's compact. The little Sony mirrorless bodies fit on it really well. We really waited until the flex tilt head arrived because it really is the perfect pair for this thing. Gives you a lot of functionality and flexibility. Initial thoughts were once again packaging that the Edelkrone stuff comes in is always fantastic. Very well packaged, very clean, very efficient. Uh, it's kind of sexy too. Really easy to set this up. The only hiccup that we had is that when I went to download the app for it, I downloaded the wrong app because Edelkrone has a different app for every piece of equipment they made. I just wasn't reading. But once we finally got the Surface One app, which runs on, I believe, any iOS or Android device. You boot up the app, you hook up the first time to the device, and it's pretty straightforward. There's a lot of functions in this app, many of which we're not gonna get to today. What we really like about this, though, is that it is pretty simple to dive right in and get started. Once you've connected to the device via Bluetooth, it is very easy to connect. You simply open the app, set your points, and you're good to go. One of the main reasons we picked up the Surface One is that we plan to use it for beautiful, almost macro style B-roll shots. We do a lot of documentary profiling for our customers and whether their customers are patients, users, clients, whatever that person is, when we really wanna get a real day in the life experience, nothing gives you that more than tight, intimate shots of them going about their day, whether it's making their breakfast and drinking their energy drink. This would be a great device to set up on their kitchen counter, get them taking their daily vitamins, drinking their energy drink. Tight shots, tight B-roll shots in a lab environment. This would be really nice to set up on a lab surface, have it roll down, get some beautiful scenic shots and establishing shots. You can get really close with this, non-obtrusive. You don't have to be worried about being in the way. Now, the only thing with time-lapse is I would love to do all of our time-lapse outside in beautiful environments, get these beautiful sweeping landscapes. But because this thing is such a fine motor and a very precise tool, you really need a flat surface. I would not do this on asphalt, sidewalk, or anything like that. The real limiting factor of this that I find is that you need a very flat surface. If you were at a restaurant and they had like a textured bar, you would replicate all of that texture in the shake in your camera. There is not a lot of give with this thing. It really needs to be perfectly flat. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this gear review. If you have any questions about this sweet little thing or any of the other gear reviews on our YouTube channel, check it out below. Feel free to shoot us a note and let us know. We'll see you next time.